Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to be going over my knockout predictions for Euro 2024. Before you proceed with this video, make sure you check out my early group stage predictions, as that will explain why you could potentially not see your country in this video. But yes, I did say in that video that if we hit 5,000 likes, I'll do a follow up with this video you're watching right now as well. And you guys absolutely smashed it. We hit 5,000 likes in less than 24 hours. That is incredible. Thank you all so much for the support. Of course, these major international tournament prediction videos seem to do very well on the channel. Very grateful that, of course. But unfortunately, a lot of people miss my opening message that I stated in that video. If I don't predict the best for your country in this tournament, that doesn't mean I hate them. Yeah, based on the comments, people probably skipped the intro. So I don't know why I'm trying to emphasize it once again. But yeah, that doesn't mean disagreements aren't welcome. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below as always and drop an early like if you haven't already. Thankfully, I did find a predictor game website. Not many are out yet. So if you want to check this one out, I will leave a link in the description below. Euro2024.championsleaguepredictor.com As you can see, the site is prepared to even ask you which of the playoff teams you think will advance. So I'll give my answer for that once again. I got Wales, Ukraine, and Greece as my three teams. Anyway, that gives us the green light to hit next, and it's asking us for our best third place teams. I already told you in the last video which of the third place teams I do think will advance. However, I did not specify which order I think they will finish in. So I already told you guys that I do think the two countries that I have going in third place that will not advance to the next round are surprisingly Italy and Greece. I'm going to say Austria are the best third place team. Germany follow up at second. Romania third, Slovenia fourth. Here are our round of 16 confirmed matchups. Spain versus Romania, Scotland versus Denmark, Portugal versus Germany, Netherlands versus Ukraine, Belgium versus Slovenia, France versus Turkey, England versus Austria, and Hungary versus Croatia. This is an incredible set of round of 16 matchups. Let's get into it, starting off with Spain versus Romania. Now with Romania, like I already mentioned previously, their defensive record is looking to be on top. Six clean sheets in the qualifiers, incredible players in the back line pulling the strings. But if my prediction comes true, it's going to be a bit unlucky if they have to face Spain as they're looking like one of the most elite teams in Europe right now, just winning the Nations League. After their defeat against Scotland, they very much improved after that. I mean, who knows? In the last World Cup, Spain got knocked out in the round of 16 to Morocco. So of course, anything's possible. Romania can pull off the upset here, as not at this current moment, but in the past, Spain have looked to lack that goal-scoring threat at moments. In the last Euro tournament, it took them some time to really pull their strings to start finding the back of the net. Obviously, the likes of Morata has very much improved this season. Will he carry on with his form? That will be an interesting question. But I still think Spain have what it takes to beat Romania. Might be more narrow than people think. I see Romania putting off a good fight, but I'm going with Spain to advance to the quarterfinals. Scotland versus Denmark now, this is tough to call. If this were a few years ago, I would say Denmark are the favorites, but Scotland have been really proving their class absolutely outshining in their qualifier group. These sides were actually in the same World Cup qualifier group where they both got a 2-0 win against one another. That was over two years ago though. We've seen both sides of Denmark where they disappoint in major tournaments but also absolutely outshine. They were considered the quote-unquote dark horse in the last Euro tournament. They pulled off a lot more narrow results than I expected them to in this qualifier campaign despite topping their group, including the San Marino. We don't even know if this matchup's confirmed obviously, so I'm not gonna give myself too much of a headache over it. I think that Scotland can advance over Denmark based on how they've been currently playing. If all their key players are fully fit, I think they have what it takes to advance. Denmark, of course, have a lot of quality. Despite Hoyu not having any Premier League goals at the moment, at the time of this recording at least, he's been seen to do wonders for the national team, but Scotland's defense can hold their own when they're on their game. So I do see them just beating Denmark. Portugal versus Germany now. This would be unlucky for Portugal if this were to come true, of course. Playing this fixture on German soil, of course, is not ideal, and they don't want to go through topping their group and then having to play one of the tougher teams on paper at least, in that group as well. Their head-to-head -head record against one another is not very ideal for Portugal either. They met in the last Euro group stage where Germany beat them 4-2, and in the World Cup 2014, Germany annihilated them 4-0. In fact, the last time Portugal were able to beat Germany was all the way back in 2000, 24 years ago. So right now, head-to-head -head suggests that Portugal do not have what it takes. However, this is not the most convincing Germany side we've seen, and this is one of the best Portugal sides we've seen in some time. But while saying that, all credit to Portugal, of course, this will be the first time they've played a quote-unquote giant in some time. Their Euro qualifier group, they destroyed every team. Fair enough. 
but on paper they were miles better on quality compared to the other nations. Germany of course have been losing a lot of their friendlies, but they do have what it takes to pick themselves back up. Based on current form, Portugal seem like the favorites, but hates to be repetitive, very much a flip of a coin match. For now, this could change later of course, I am saying Portugal are the favorites to advance to the quarterfinals. Moving on to the Netherlands versus Ukraine. Ukraine, quite an inconsistent side at moments, but they still had an admirable qualified campaign. Again, it's not even confirmed if they will be in this tournament. Definitely possible for an upset here. I don't think the Netherlands are at their peak at the moment. They were looking much stronger during the World Cup phase. Under Komen, they're not looking as lethal, but they've still been pulling off the results narrowly, even when they're not looking the most convincing. And I think it's going to be one of those cases here. Who knows? We've seen the Netherlands in the last years crash in the round of 16 to Czech Republic. And we've seen Ukraine upset a very informed Sweden at the time in this same stage, where they advanced to the quarterfinals. Can history repeat itself in that fashion for both of these nations? Of course! But I'm going to say that Netherlands still will be the ones to advance to the quarterfinals. Belgium versus Slovenia next. At this rate, and this is no disrespect to the teams Belgium had to face, they have quite a lucky road so far. Definitely on paper a very doable group for them, and now they're coming up against Slovenia in the round of 16s. Obviously a team you should not underestimate, but they do look to be one of the weaker teams in this tournament. In fact, they are the second worst ranked team by FIFA that have qualified already for the Euros. I love you Slovenia, but I just don't see the upset here. I'm saying Belgium make it to the quarterfinals. France versus Turkey. Last time France got knocked out in the round of 16 shockingly to Switzerland. Turkey can pull a shock here of course. This would be an epic matchup to see. But with the quality France have, they went undefeated in their qualifier group, only picking up one draw along the way. Turkey an admirable side, but they do still possess a few inconsistencies here and there. France to me are going to be the ones to make it to the quarterfinals. Now for England versus Austria. This is not going to be as easy of a match for England as it looks. People saying that they always have an easy road. No, this Austria side is looking dangerous and again they are getting so unlucky in what is to come they're already placed in a very difficult group they just squeezed through to third according to my predictions and now they gotta face one of the favorites for the tournament England. Austria in the last tournament were paired up against Italy in the round of 16 who did go on to win the entire thing and they put off a marvelous fight. It went to extra time. I definitely could see a similar occurrence here. I think Austria are one of the more underrated teams in this competition. If they had better luck in this round of 16 setup I could see them making it to the quarters, but against England, I think it's going to be too tough. Definitely could see a fantastic fight put off regardless, just like in the last tournament, but I'm going for England to advance. Now taking a look at Hungary versus Croatia. Croatia making it out of the group of death, according to my prediction, second place. And they have never made it past the first round of knockouts in the Euro Championship. They've done fantastically well in the World Cup, top three three times in their history since becoming independent, but in the Euros, every single time either a round of 16 exit or quarterfinals but when it was quarterfinals back then that was the first round of knockouts can they finally break that unfortunate statistic here against hungary it's definitely possible but hungary is a very electric team that can catch croatia off guard i don't want to bank against my national team but i definitely could see once again a disappointing result in the round of 16. i could even see this going to penalties just like the world cup i'm torn this hungarian side is very impressive and i even mentioned in the last video they did lack some consistency here and there in the qualifiers but they did present some injuries but also the same for croatia they presented a lot of injuries in that qualifier campaign especially during that part where wales held on to a second place spot over them don't want to underestimate the hungarians of course but i'm saying croatia finally break through out of that first round of knockout curse they make it to the quarterfinals over them, and they have to face England. Ooh, but before we get into that match, let's go back to the top of the bracket. Spain versus Scotland. We've already seen this matchup in the Euro qualifiers. These sides were in the same group. Both did tremendously well. Scotland beating them at one point, definitely catching Spain off guard. Spain getting their revenge against them, ending up topping the group at the end. I'm sorry, Scotland, but if you guys make it to the quarterfinals, that'll be fantastic, as this country has never even made it to the knockouts in any major international tournament. But I'm saying it ends here. Spain got the best of them last time. They also know not to underestimate this side, of course. Luis de la Fuente is familiar with them. I'm saying that Spain get a comfortable win against them, possibly 2-0. Moving on to Portugal versus the Netherlands. Taking a look at their head-to-head -head record in the past, Portugal has actually come off victorious more than the Netherlands. If this were last year, I would say Netherlands would probably advance, but for now, I think Portugal are the favorites to do so. They will take on Spain in the semifinals. Belgium versus France. 
Perfect opportunity for Belgium to grab their revenge from the 2018 World Cup, hey? Corner from Umtiti sealed the deal to give France that finalist spot. I would love for this match to come to life, it would be incredible. Belgium very much going through a transitional period, not a bad one of course, like I said a lot of their youngsters really have been pulling through recently and still can prove themselves and progress over these next 7 months, but France just always have on lockdown that depth, their starters, new youngsters coming in, they're just always set on the next generation. And of course, anything's possible, but I'm saying France advance to the semifinals. England versus Croatia. Another World Cup 2018 semifinalist rematch. Many people underestimated Croatia there, and they beat England on extra time to send them to the finals of that World Cup. I would love to see it again, but this England side is just looking way more dangerous compared to before. Harry Kane, as always, in fantastic form. Ridiculous numbers in the Bundesliga. Jude Bellingham always having clutch moments for Real Madrid. Again, who knows, this side did shock Brazil, Favorites for many in the last World Cup, but I do think England have been on a better track of form than Brazil were at the time, actually. Prove me wrong, Hrvatska, but I think it ends here. I'm sorry. England will make it to the semifinals. So here are the two semifinalist matchups. Spain versus Portugal. France versus England. Spain versus Portugal is a classic as well. We saw them face each other in the Nations League recently and also in the World Cup 2018 group stage in one of the most incredible matches at the time, finishing 3-3. Apart from Spain winning against Portugal in the last Nations League match, the other four times they faced each other in the last five years all finished in a draw. Both incredible countries that have won the Euros fairly recently, within many of our lifetimes at least. Who knows, Spain can easily just flop in that group of death. I doubt that'll be the case, they've been looking too good, and I'm saying they make it to the final as well. France versus England next. I think both of these countries are at this state where they would just hate to play one another. France got the best of England in the last World Cup, but it really could have gone either way, as Kane missed one of the penalties, France grabbing a narrow win against them. There were moments England were definitely looking like the better side, and they could very much be fueled to grab their revenge. Last time I predicted France to advance in that fixture, and this time I'm predicting England to be the ones to advance to the final. I've said it on other streams and videos, my three favorites for this tournament are Portugal, France, and England. And I'm having three of them make it to the semifinals. I'm torn about which one to pick, but right now I think England is the right choice. Which means in that final match against Spain, although Spain are such a quality unit, England, I think, will just beat them. Maybe even on penalties. Perfect redemption story from Euro 2020 as they got heartbroken in the last final. This would be England's first Euro Championship in their entire history, which is why this could be an unpopular prediction for some of you. But with them being so close last time and looking even stronger now, I don't see why they couldn't be able to do it. Now, of course, this prediction could very much change. In the last early World Cup knockout prediction I did, I had Germany winning the tournament. Then I realized they're probably not gonna have that deep of a run, and I went for Argentina as the champions which I'm very glad I fixed. But yeah, those are my early thoughts. England to beat Spain in the final. Let me know who you guys think are the favorites to win the tournament along with what your bracket looks like. I'll leave a link to this site in the description below if you want to check it out. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I do plan to release a lot more Euro 2024 content along with other international tournaments like the Copa America, AFCON, AFC Asian Cup. It's going to be a good couple of months. Stay tuned for all of that. Like this video if you haven't already. And I will see you all very, very soon. Take care. Lock and watch.